Betty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a gumball machine. I'm going to take two fingers in the center and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle. Curve line all the way up, over, connect. At the very top I'm going to draw a curve line up, over, connect, and a little one right on top. Curve line up, over, connect. I come on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left. Come on the right hand side, draw a straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the left and I'm going to connect the two with a straight line. I come back to the left and I draw a little straight line down on the left, little straight line down on the right, and now I'm going to connect those two together. I come right about here and I'm going to draw a baby circle. And then I draw a straight diagonal out, straight line down, straight diagonal in, and right across from it I draw it again. Straight diagonal out, straight line down, straight diagonal up, connect. Now this is an overlap. I'm going to draw a straight line, jump over, straight line, straight line, straight line up, jump over, straight line, connect. I come right down below and I draw another straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line up, connect. Now I come to the side and I draw one, two straight diagonal lines and one two straight diagonal lines on the right. Now I come inside my circle and I draw baby circles inside the bigger circle. Keep going. Now we're going to do what we call overlaps. You don't draw the whole part, you just draw the curved lines. Keep going. Maybe one more row up here on top. There we go. Okay, let's start coloring this in. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is color this section red, this section red, my bottom section red, and I'm going to add two straight lines on either side of red going down. I come in, and if you have a gray crayon, I'm going to color the metal parts gray here and this rectangle there. And now I'm ready to color my gumballs. So what I like to do is I like to space out. So I'll do a couple of reds, come in and do some greens. I'm using the primary colors. Come in and do some blues. And finally some yellows. Keep it colorful. Alright, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my gumball machine all colored in. Ready for somebody to give me some money so I can get some gum. Okay, bye bye.